Hey, what's going on? This is Lecrae. I'm rocking my man Chewy. You know what it is. Chewy Takeover 92.7 The Block. And the interview on the way, mama. Believe that. Eh, I'm broke, but he not broke. You know the 92.7 The Block Studios are lit. 92.7 The Block, ladies and gentlemen, Lecrae is in the building. What's up, big bro? You got it, man. I'm out here, man. We, got, I, we doing it. I want to say I'm proud of you, man. Like, you definitely doing everything you said you was going to do when we first met each other. And, you know, by the grace of God, by the grace of God uh -huh. and the glory power that he has given you, what do you feel as though you are most thankful for right now? Right now, um... Man, honestly, just to be able to still do what I love to do, man, and still be able to, like, you know, impact people and people be able to, yeah, to, to catch, to feel the vibe of the music. And that's really why I do it. I do it for the, I do it for the people. And to be able for the people to still be rocking with me, that's, that's love, man. Now, I feel as though, like, like when people see you, they're just like, oh, he's so quiet. Nah. He's so calm. But when I talk to you, he be lit. He like, yeah, yeah, Chewy. Yeah, I got a better yeah, jump yeah, shot yeah. than you know a good one. You know, boy. I ain't seen your J, so I don't know. Listen, but I ain't we we got to find out tonight. Yeah, I ain't seen Tonight, it. okay? Now, I got a torn rotator cuff, but it's on the left side, so we still good. So so I already hear excuses. Now nah, we on the, it's on the left <laughs> side. We good. That was, it just mean I can't dunk on you two-handed. Oh, my. That's all it means. You're not going to dunk on me, B. Uh, I'm gonna foul you. Oh. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit you right in that arm, like, no. douche, ladies and gentlemen. So I have to ask you: you being from Houston, you loving everything going on for Houston. For sure. uh, number one, first of all, I, I need to retract that. We need to pray for Houston all, all for uh, full happened. recovery. Yeah. You know, not just for Houston, but Puerto Rico and the yeah, uh, other yeah. affected cities. Yeah. But what has been one of your most memorable experience being an artist from Houston? Uh. I'm, honestly, it was uh, the, the Free Press Festival out there in Houston where everybody came back. It was the first time people saw like Mike Jones on stage with Who? Bun B. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was just it was Slim Thug, Paul Wall. Paul Wall came out on my set, man. It was just a, it was like this big reunion of everybody I grew up loving and listening to, man. It was hard. Now, have you ever, I, I think I've asked you this, have you ever seen Beyonce? Yeah, I met Beyonce in Houston, matter of fact, at Michael Jordan's birthday party. And, so uh, I gotta ask you though. Yeah. Did, did you give her a hug? Nah, she handshakes only. Handshakes only. Yeah, Dang. Beyonce with the handshakes only. Oh, she she <laughs> ain't doing no hugs. She, ain't she, no hugs. She ain't no hugs with, one of those like. Ain't no hugs would be. No hug. No hugs would be. You can't hug Beyonce. Nah, bro. Why? Because I see that's she's a queen, bro. You can't. The old boy wants to do that. Be with her all the time. Tall dude, boy, dude. Light skin dude. Her yeah. cousin. He'll put you in that chokehold real quick. Julius. Julius. Put Julius. You, get you wrapped up real quick. I, I'm just saying. All right. So this is how we gotta do it next time when we see Beyonce. All right. Uh -huh. Well, when you see her, call me first. Uh -huh. All right, and I'm going to talk to Juju. I'm going to be like, yo, Juju, what's good, baby? He's going to be like, who are you? I'm going to be like, you don't remember me back from high school? And that's when you hug Beyonce. Oh, okay, bet. You got a sneaker hug in there, I'm sure. That's probably, what I'm saying. You know, Beyonce probably got dudes with the earpieces all around the room. I, I have a feeling she does move <laughs> like that. She might, yeah, real rap. So I have to ask you another question is, you know, you're out on the road. What's the love life like right now? Man, I'm, I'm, they're showing me a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I go, man, it's like the, the people come out heavy. Like from the big cities, Atlanta was crazy, Houston was crazy, Dallas was a fool. That's such a political answer, but I, that ain't the answer that I was looking for. That's the answer. Yeah. Are, are you are you taking or what? Oh yeah, man, I'm 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 taking, man. I'm off the market. You know what I'm saying? I'm off the market. Look at this man, Mama, <laughs> Mama. He out here claiming he taking. Yeah. So we can do a double date. Oh, we can. We can do. Yeah, a double date. we can definitely do that. We can do a double date. I mean, I. I go on single. I know you date two at a time. I don't really do that. Like you know what I'm saying. What? <laughs> what? See, you, this is you doing this on purpose, ladies and gentlemen. In case you don't know, Lecrae does know I'm in a relationship. Okay, he's trying to set me up on purpose. You do it again. I promise you. I promise you. You will never play basketball all day in your life. Okay? He trying to set me up. Naomi, what's up though? Ooh. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, man. Over here, DJ SNS. Do you hear this guy right now, S? Hey man, that's why I'm away from the mic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you're seeing your music yeah. cultivate the entire world. You're seeing the the yeah. responses getting from nothing but positivity. Who is somebody that you are most surprised at getting a reaction from? Uh man, that's a good question. Who am I surprised? Um, somebody. I don't know. It's been. I mean, because there's so many. It's, it's so such a random assortment of people. You know what I'm saying? That I, it always blows my mind. Um, 
I've always been blown away. I've known about it for a while, but I didn't. But then I got to meet her. But Carrie Underwood was a fan of my music. That was different. I was mm. like, oh wow, that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So so I met her, and uh, she showed me a lot of love, and I was like, that's wild. That's What's crazy. one of the craziest things you've received so far? Like a uh, pair of sneakers, shirt. Because last time you came here, I think I laced you up. Yeah, you did. But you laced what, me up. What, right? what was the craziest gift? Craziest gift you received so far? Um. I, I mean, from like a fan or just period? Both. Um, from a fan and just because? I'm trying to think from a fan. From a fan, it, it'd probably be like, um, man, I can't even think about from a fan. A, a fan, somebody uh, made me, you know, like the little um, vinyl bobblehead little toys. Somebody made my, made me. You know, I don't know how they did it. Hey, like, you already got big heads. This dude. <laughs> <laughs> so they just made you a twin. A little pause. twin, twin, twin. Uh, pause. Pause. Uh, See, here we go. Yeah, pause. Uh, but anyway. now, all that positive stuff that you're talking now, you got to pause me. Nah, he's, I, mean, listen, I didn't know. Nah, but uh, yeah, but no, nah, my, my partner, Ben, he just, um, you know, he uh, actually my whole squad chipped in, man. They bought me a bass guitar because I been wanting to learn how to play bass. And that was, awesome. that was love, yeah. Now, one one of the things that I want to talk about, last things before you get out of here. One of the last things I want to talk to you about before you get out of here, something that's near and dear to me that it, it, it definitely showed me, like, man, I really got a lot more love for this dude. You visited the St. Jude's Hospital. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Talk to the people about what St. Jude's means to you. Listen, man, <clears throat> if, if you ever get a chance to donate to St. Jude, just do it. Because, uh, number one, the kids and the parents don't ever have to pay a dime. So I met families who like they they wouldn't have been able to afford the treatment like the the, the prescription pills like a ten thousand dollar prescription. Yeah. They don't have to pay for nothing. So just for kids, I seen kids you know come out healed, cancer free, excited to live life. And you know you shouldn't be eleven years old having to wrestle through some of the things them kids had to wrestle through. So it was a beautiful thing, man. You walk out smiling. There's pictures on on the wall of kids who you know just have overcome all kind of it'll make you say i'll never complain a day in my life you don't walk in sad it's not a sad place a very happy place and uh man you know it's, it's an inspiring place if, if you if you get a chance to donate do it if the grocery and, store and clerk say you want to do, do it i got i got i have to let you know to let the listeners know everything you're saying I, i've walked through the the hospital mm -hmm. you know what i mean when you walk in yeah. you see the flags up on the ceilings yep. you also see like the paintings on the wall that yep. the the cancer patients may have and on top of that one thing that i do love about saint jude is the fact that once you walk in mm -hmm. there's a group of staff ready to meet you oh, and yeah. happy to take you in and let you and your family know that Everything is gonna be okay. Yeah. You're in good it's hands. Crazy. And let me tell you, St. Jude, my hat is off to you guys. I think we're planning a telethon mm -hmm. in March mm -hmm. for St. Jude, That's where dope. we're spending the whole day. We were one of the first hip hop stations ever That's to do dope. it. So we gotta do it again. And I'm just thankful that you're here to yeah. tell the listeners, hey, yeah. you know, give back. Like support, these, support. these are families that they move them away out their hometown. They yeah. pay for their plane ticket. They yeah. pay for all their expenses, cater a room. Mm -hmm. So because these are children, kids, these are kids. Babies. These, these are from firstborn all the way to a four-year-old who was like, yeah, like four-year-old, like babies. It's, it's, it's a beautiful place for them. And they take care of sickle cell anemia too, which which really affects the the you know the black community too. And and they they uh, take care of people with sickle cell anemia too. So like, man, St. Jude is is, is hey, they, legit. They, they legit. Well, now that we got our emotions out the way, being nah. light skin and all, uh, you bought me a little gift. Oh man, what would I bring you? A song. Yes. I got a song. Look, it's a little. You got song. a couple of songs. Nah, matter this song fact, is special. Matter of fact, let, let's play. Let's do. Let's do two of your favorite songs. Oh, man. We already did Blessings. We did Blessings. I'll co-sign that Broke record. Broke, man. Broke is the move right now. You just play Broke twice. That's that's two songs. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, something that I am right now, Broke. Yo. Lecrae is in the building. Go ahead and, go ahead and talk to the people, Listen, man. Listen, people, being broke makes you rich, man. I'm trying to tell you what drive, ambition is one aspect of it, but it also makes you rich in a lot of other areas like patience because when you broke, you learn how to be patient waiting on the first and the 15th. Uh, if you appreciation. ain't appreciation, make you make rich in appreciation, appreciate what you ain't got, what you do got, because of what you ain't got but listen the song is 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 anybody can relate to this so this is just a hey, bro real rap let's get it popping go ahead and turn that station down and hey, you already know what it is man 92.7 the block
You know the 92.7, the Block Studios, the lit.